to a story in Enfield. Neighbors say they heard arguing coming from a home just a couple weeks ago. And last night, a call to police led them to that home where they found the man's wife dead inside. Now he's charged in her death. News 8's Stephanie Simone has been talking with neighbors and has more. Steph? Darren and neighbors say this couple kept to themselves, but they did hear that disturbance a couple of weeks ago. And we found out more than 30 years ago, neighbors say someone was murdered in that same exact home. Rain poured down last night when police found a woman dead in her home. Her husband is now charged for the crime. It's, it's shocking. I was like, oh my God, that's two streets down. Last night, police say they got a call saying someone was dead here at this house on Magnolia Drive. When they went to check it out, they say 49-year-old John DeWeese Jr. met them outside while they found 45-year-old Anya DeWeese deceased in the home. Neighbors say they watched as investigators pulled a mattress out of the house. Something could happen in any neighborhood. It's just you're not prepared for it most of the time. Some neighbors who did not want to go on camera described the couple as very private. They said Anya was sick and they hadn't seen her for a couple of months. But they did hear some yelling from the home about two weeks ago. Stephen Seletnik grew up with their son. I never met the family. I remember he was a nice kid. He was funny. I went to elementary school with him. Turns out neighbors say someone was killed in this home more than 30 years ago. They say in December of 1981, a teenage son shot his mother in the garage. Now police are back here again, this time trying to figure out what happened to this husband and his wife. It's too bad, you know, you never know. Enfield police declined an on-camera interview today, but they said Deweese is charged with manslaughter in the first degree. Just to understand what manslaughter is, it's different from murder when it comes to intent. A person is guilty of manslaughter if they mean to cause serious injury, but then kills the person. They can also be convicted of manslaughter if the person intends to kill, but they were under extreme emotional distress when it happened. Deweese is being held on a $250,000 bond. Live in the newsroom, Stephanie Simone, News 8.